everybody. Welcome to Dinosaur Art Time with Miss Katie. Uh, we are here to do a really fun, easy art project that has a lot of fun layers that you can add to it. And it is inspired by the book, If the Dinosaurs Came Back by Bernard Most. As you can see, we have some simple black and white illustrations with some brightly colored dinosaurs and lots of fun layers and lots of cityscapes. So our inspiration today is is making a cityscape and then making a dinosaur. So for this project, you will need one to two pieces of plain white paper. You'll need a black marker. A Sharpie is great, but just a thin tip black marker will work as well. Um, you should also have some colorful paper so that you can make your own dinosaur. And then we'll also need a pair of scissors and a glue stick. All right, let's get started. So first we need to make our cityscape. And as you can see here, I started to work on this, mainly because this is gonna be the bulk of, of your time. So as you can see, we've got different buildings here. Um, we have lots and lots of fun shapes going on. We also have some fun kind of textures. So I'm going to, I'm going to use my Sharpie right now to finish, to finish my building. And I think I'm gonna do something really fun with this, this last building. So we're going to do a big triangle shaped building and then I think we're gonna add some more lines here and then let's see what else we can add in how about we do I think maybe a big circle at the top and we're gonna make this into a big window and maybe do a second line right there and then Again, you can see there's a lot of different types of windows in our art. So I think I'm actually gonna do a big, long rectangle window. There we go. And maybe another one. All right, and then maybe some more circles. This is a great way to explore different types of shapes. and a lot of different fun patterns. And we'll do a big archway because this is a grand building on our cityscape. All right, so as you can see, we have our, our cityscape. And this might take you a while to work on. Um, it takes a lot of effort to make those little boxes. And you can also, if you're lacking inspiration or if you're not quite sure where to start, uh, you can do a simple Google image search for different cityscapes. Um, you can find cities from around the world with all different beautiful buildings and interesting shaped buildings. So, all right, we have our cityscape done. Now, we have to make our dinosaur. I'm gonna show you the dinosaur that I made. I decided to keep my dinosaur pretty, pretty simple. Sometimes it can be challenging to, to draw a dinosaur. You can definitely try to draw a dinosaur. You can do some research and look at cool books with with different types and you can draw them. But what I really like to do is use some simple shapes to make a really simple, fun dinosaur. So can you see some of our shapes that we have here? We have a half circle, we have a triangle, we have some rectangles for our little dinosaur's legs, another rectangle here, and these are just two circles that I connected together. So let me show you how that looks if you put it on your paper. I did this before, before our video started and it's very, very faint, I realize that. But let me, let me show you what we have here. So we have our, we have a really fun triangle. We have another triangle here. And I wanted to do two different triangles. I wasn't sure which one would look best, um, so I decided to do two. And then I decided if one is the tail, maybe one could be a fun back spike. Um, we don't have to be scientific about how we put our dinosaur together. We can just be creative and, and have fun. I also have these two very long lines that I can cut out to make, to make some dinosaur legs or a dinosaur neck. Um, I also have a half circle. I just freehanded all of these. So they're not gonna be perfect, but that's okay. They'll still work. Um, and I think that'll be a nice option for the body. This is probably the most technical part of it. So if you want to get the head that kind of looks like this guy. 
where we have, as you can see, oh, two circles. So I did one big circle and then I connected the two circles. And when I cut them out, I will just cut around the edge. I also thought maybe it could be fun to put a little uh, circle on the end of the spike. Um, but again, you know, I, what I would do if I were you, I would cut out all of my shapes and then it's just time to play. You can see how everything fits together. You can do a lot of different types of rearranging. And then once you've figured out what you want your dinosaur design to be, that's when you get out your glue stick. So you can have a grown up help you with this, um, but it's, it's, it's fun because even if you get a little bit of glue on there, you can still kind of move things around. So for instance, to show you my dinosaur, initially I wanted my dinosaur to be kind of walking upright on the two back legs. Um, and I realized, because here's the other thing, friends, how is your dinosaur gonna fit within your cityscape? Now, if I had wanted to do my dinosaur on the back legs, we might run out of room. And that's okay, but I decided for my project, because we are all about doing what we want in our art, I decided that I wanted to try to keep my little dinosaur within within my sheet of paper and within my cityscape. Now you might be thinking, that dinosaur is huge, and you are right, but let's look back at our inspiration photo. Um, we have really, really big dinosaurs. And you know, if the dinosaurs did come back, this is probably what it would look like. Those dinosaurs are huge, and they can dwarf those city skylines. But again, friends, we are all about what you want to be doing with your art. So if you want a bunch of little dinosaurs kind of sprinkled around, you can do multiple dinosaurs and make them a little bit smaller. You can make some that are big, some that are little. All right, I think this looks like a great, a great spot for my dinosaur. So I'm going to get my, my handy glue stick out and I'm going to, I'm gonna move this aside and I'm gonna do some quick quick gluing while hopefully not hurting hurting my dinosaur. We wouldn't want to do that. It doesn't take too much glue. And also, if you have white glue at home, white glue will work really well with this. And you can also use tape. There's a lot of different ways to make this work. Another fun thing that you could do, actually first let's get let's get our little dinosaur connected. Here we go. Ooh, all right. That dinosaur looks like he's galloping. I really like that we have kind of our different, our different legs kind of moving him around. I think he looks great. Now, like I said, you can, you can change things up. Maybe you only have plain white paper. So what you could do is use crayons or paint and, and paint your white paper before you put your shapes on and before you cut out your dinosaur. So your dinosaur could have a really cool texture. Uh, you could also use some cardboard um, from a cereal box or from a granola bar box. And again, color on that and get that different kind of texture and, um, and color. I think that could be really fun. Now, I wanted to add another element to this one because what I really like about the book is that there are so many fun layers. And I think Bernard Most does such a good job of making the dinosaurs really feel like they're a part of the city. So as I mentioned, if you have two sheets of paper, you can get a second sheet of paper and you can make some more buildings. Again, you'll have to cut it out. But I like the idea of us kind of layering because if we're in a city, we can definitely see that there are different streets. So we're pretending that our dinosaur is walking behind this building and in front of this building. So I really like that. So I'm going to add that. And let's get our, let's get our glue stick going. And we're going to attach that. All right. There we go. Look at that dinosaur sneaking behind. I love how his, his foot looks like he's kind of walking through it. I love that. And what I could also do 
is cut out another dinosaur out of some shapes and I could add it in front of this building. So let me show you one, a few more things because I really liked the, um, the focus on the cityscape, but there are a lot of different ways to use this great picture book as inspiration. I love this one especially. Look at all of those trees and all of that great texture that you can use with just a black and white drawing. This one has always made me laugh. The dinosaur at the beach. As you can see, there's a lot of different ways to use this book as inspiration, keeping things pretty simple and being open to creativity. Of course, I'm gonna end on my favorite. If the dinosaurs came back, they could help librarians get books from the top shelf. Look at those helpful, helpful dinosaurs. Thank you so much for tuning in, everybody. If you try this project at home, we would love to see a picture of your artwork. You can share it on our Facebook page, and we hope that you will tune in for more fun virtual programs here at Whitefish Bay Public Library.